Hello and welcome to a film mixologist. <coughs> Today I'm I'm back on the doing some things on the, on the list D and this is actually a video requested by <coughs> one of the viewers. Um, basically, what what he's requesting is some measurements around the <coughs> around the um, uh, around the governing mechanism, which which I'll get onto in a bit. But I thought I might as well make a general video about how the how the speed control on on Lister D's work. Now, Lister D's, <coughs> as with a lot of station, pretty much every stationary engine, they are governed at a certain speed. And the reason for that is because they were meant to do what they, they are meant to be paired up with machines that need a certain number of revolutions per minute to work efficiently. <coughs> so if you know that a Lister D works at 700 RPM or 1000 RPM is the, if it's the 2 HP model, then you know what sort of size pulley do you need to pair it up with the other equipment so because they were used for farming equipment and that kind of stuff so first of all I'm going to show you <coughs> the governing mechanism here and some things to look out so, so uh, as you can see this basically spins with the engine yeah you can you can see it inside here now as the this spins the centrifugal force is forcing out this weights here which are sprung like this so the 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 higher the 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 spring in terms of its resistance then the higher rpm so this for example is a governor for a 2 hp model and so what you can see here is this um, these pins here that 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 come out when when the engine is running at speed, and therefore the pins push <coughs> push on this tip here. So basically, let me install it again. So basically, uh, should be about should be about like this. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, how it goes. So so basically, when the engine is not running, the pin is in. But when when the engine is, starts running, it starts getting up to to speed. Those spin those pins start pushing this out like so. So now I'm going to show you in the engine what it looks like, and I'm going to start it up so you can see how this uh, works in real life. Okay, so here we we have. Let's take some measurements, and the. The upright is about 11 and a half inches with the with this with the lever that is about mm, let's see if we can put it there you know, about two and a bit inches and then the side shaft is <coughs> Again, yeah, we, we're going to call that 10 inches. So those are the measurements. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this thing works in practice. Because if you if you look at uh, that throttle, I'm doing it like that. So at the moment, the throttle is in the fully open position. And when the engine starts, you're going to see that the governor is going to go like this and start closing the throttle to regulate the engine how it works so let's let's do that and i'll see you and i'm and i'll let you see it in in real life
so as you could see in that video that uh, when I when I opened up the, um, the 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 fuel needle on the on the carb and then when I when I when I when I was about to turn it off as the RPMs went down the throttle came up and then when I, when I turned it back on it went back up and then and then open again at, at the end so that that tells you how how the governor should be working that's the normal operation of the of a list d governor well i hope you got something out of it uh, and thank you very much for your views your comments and i'll see you on the next episode thank you